G'day mates, Uncle Loss here and tomorrow we are heading down under to Australia for Australia's strongest international. I've got my Sheila here, Auntie Liz. We're gonna tell you all about the contest. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I am joined. We are very excited about going to Australia. Oh yes, not looking forward to the journey so much, but we're very excited about being there, aren't we? Our first time in Australia and Australia's first international strongman competition since pre-COVID times. It's been a while. We've got some amazing looking events. Some really cool events and we have footage to show you guys and we're here to let you know some updates on the lineup and where you can watch this competition. Australia's strongest international. On the Friday night, we have the Friday Night Lights, which is the women's competition. Yes. And Saturday Night Slam, we have the men's. Beautiful events. I have just been watching this video that we've had sent over. Yeah. And I've got to say, it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks really cool, fun, rustic. I'm assuming it's outside. I hope it's outside. I don't want to go all the way to Australia and be inside. <laughs> Be bloody hot if it's outside. Well, it's in night time. Yeah, they're so. evening shows. It's going to be absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm going to try my best with all these names. I'm going to start with the easy ones. So, competing in the women's competition on the Friday evening, we have first off our girl Andrea Thompson, former world's strongest woman. We also have three time world's strongest woman, Donna Moore, competing. We have the back-to-back -back under 82 kilo women's champion, Nadia Stowers. We have Shayna Wiriana, who is New Zealand's strongest woman, 2022. We have Ali Clare, Nicole Genrich. Megan Clark, who was in the finals in the under 82 kilos at OSG last year. We also have Joe Kimitanga and Camilla Fogagnola, I hope I got her name right. And she was actually the world champion in the under 64 kilos at the Arnold's in 2020. So be interested, I don't know if she's still competing in that weight category, but it'd be really interesting to see how she does against the likes of Andrea, who is obviously an open weight woman. It's gonna be a fun competition to yeah, watch. Yeah, interesting mix, because the thing is, I mean, for us especially, we just don't know what these women's strengths are and stuff, so it's always nice to be surprised, isn't it? Absolutely, and you know, a competition in Australia is giving new territory, new talent that we're gonna see at the top level, so who knows how good some of these ladies will be. And what's really fun is that the women and the men are doing the exact same events, because it's all load of awkward. Quite equipment. like that with competitions now, where we're seeing the men and women do the same events, obviously a little bit different in weights on certain yeah. things, but I find that quite interesting and it's interesting mm. to have that comparison. Yeah. We saw at the team competition recently that yeah. on certain events it really doesn't matter. No, which is just bizarre to even get into. <laughs> so for the men's lineup, unfortunately there's been a few athletes had to drop out for various different reasons. So we're down to eight athletes and we're starting off with Jordan Osborne who is the current Australia's strongest man. Mm. Then we have Sean Gillen, Tyler Helm, Fresh off his World's Strongest Man debut, we've got Jean-Stefan Korobuf, otherwise known as Coco. Very, very good log presser. I'm sure he is looking to put something huge up on that event. Next up, we have Tiano Fapui, which is another athlete I haven't seen, so looking forward to see how he does. He came second at New Zealand's Strongest Man in 2022. And then we have the two big names in this competition. Ones that we can say. Well, just about. Wow, actually. <laughs> one would claim that we don't say it correctly. Round them. But we ignore him. Mr. Hainler. <laughs> yes. And we have the one and only sensation from 2022, Mr. Mitchell Hooper. Really looking forward to seeing some of the local athletes. We apologize if we butchered your names. We know we did butcher your names. So we, yeah, we are very, very sorry. But let's move on to the events. Because like we say, men and women are doing the same events. We have some footage to show you. We spent far too long getting the names wrong. So let's have a look and see what the athletes are going to be doing. So the competition will open with the massive steelworks machine, which is an arm over arm pull. You can see it on the screen here. And here's someone helpfully demonstrating it for us. An absolutely epic looking bit of kit. I do enjoy just, an arm over arm i know it's not your favorite arm over arm normally is boring depending on what they're pulling but when this it looks, looks good yeah, yeah this is an awesome bit of kit and um i wouldn't mind seeing if i can get a chance to have a go on some of this yeah, maybe beforehand. you should you should event number two is the stand or submit max log now this is going to be a good one we've got the world record holder in the women's class andrea thompson mm. she is the current world record holder we've got coco who is looking to put something huge up I mean, Mitch Hooper's going over 200 kilos. Rauno has done some big numbers in the past. Mm. So we could see some very impressive log lifting. And we can't forget in the women's class, well, we've got Nadia Stowers, who yes. is another monster presser. So expect some big numbers on the log. 
Event number three I'm really looking forward to seeing in person is the Ukrainian deadlift towers, which you can see here, they could be going head to head and they have to do a set number of reps. So for the women, it will start at 180 kilos and for the men, it will start at 300 kilos and 10 kilos will be added with each rep they do. And I take it, it's either as many as you can do or fastest, fastest. time for all 10. Exactly, yes. So event number four is the max distance quest stone carry. It's gonna be going around an eight meter circle and it's it's literally get it up and carry it as far as possible. Interesting rule though, they're not allowed to reset it down onto their lap. Yeah. Sometimes you see athletes Never do that, gripping, but yeah. that's not allowed in this one. So it's all about getting it right from the start and just going as far as you can. Now event number five, it's a max stone and we don't see this very often. So it's a rising weight. The women are gonna be opening on a 120 kilo stone. Now, what I really like about this, so athletes can opt in and out on weight, but once they're up, they only have a minute to lift it. Okay. If they don't lift it, then it's failed and they're out. Now, if people tie on the stone, then doing it faster will favor them. So okay. where people tie on the same lift, the, the person who did it fastest will score the highest. Interesting. Yeah. We've got some great stone lift. Donna Moore is an amazing stone lifter. Yeah, so looking is. forward to seeing what she can do. Um, I know she's got big plans to try and, and put a huge stone up eventually. Mm. And some of these guys, like Tyler Helm, has lifted a 240 kilo stone in training. Mitch Hooper's done some massive stone. Browno has as well. But can they do it at the end of a tough competition? And we were looking to see, like, what's the heaviest stone that's been lifted in a full competition? Because we know, obviously, we've had, like, rogue record breakers, wuss feats of strength. It'd be interesting to see what gets lifted. Yeah, it will be. I mean, the heaviest stone I can think of in competition was back in the day at the Arnold, sort of 2010, 2011 time. Yeah. They used to have 240 odd kilo stone. The manhood stone. I think in 2011, Brian did four reps on that wow. pound stone the years before dominating that event as well so yeah i think we could see some good numbers but whether we see as much as that i don't know so if you live in australia this is actually going to be available to watch on ko i've been told that's like the sky sports of um, australia never heard of ko but i'm sure it's a well, thing well hopefully we'll find out all about it when we get over there if you are not australian then you can watch it it's a pay-per-view stream on adl live and adl are the same people that do the shore classic they helped out a lot at osg this year and growing massively all over with strongman yes definitely also clash on the coast they did earlier mm. last year as well so the link is in the description below. We must go to bed because we're up early and we have a very long day tomorrow. Cannot wait to get to Australia, yes. guys. Make sure you tune in for this event. It's gonna be a fantastic one. As always, like, share and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time.